All right, Keith Frankie from Top of My News here with three champs, WC champ Anthony Pettis, and two kickback boxing champs, Giuseppe Di Natale and Duke Rufus. So Duke, Anthony, I guess, we'll, you know, what brings you here to Winnipeg? Um, I've been coming here for a long time. Uh, we used to compete against uh, some of Giuseppe's old teams that we trained against, and uh, when Giuseppe went on his own and created his own academy and, and gym, we, we uh, decided to can't beat each other, we're going to join each other, and uh, the, the the rest is history. We've had a great relationship, trained together for years. Uh, he's come to America, I've come back here, he helped me train for fights, I've helped him train, and uh, we're pretty excited about uh, Anthony's little brother Sergio fighting here in Winnipeg at the CFC. Yeah, absolutely. Before we get to that, um, um, Giuseppe, you also brought Anthony and uh, Duke here um, to do a seminar at uh, the CFC gym. Uh, you know, how important is it to Winnipeg to, to bring this uh, quality training? Well, it's uh, you know, an opportunity that uh, was made possible with Duke and, and, and uh, real happy to have him and the Pettis brothers up. But I just wanted to open up uh, the eyes to my students here. That's why I made it exclusively for, uh, for CFC gym members. I wanted to open up the eyes for, for our students on what uh, higher level training is, how uh, professional uh, UFC fighters train. And, and the different techniques that are uh, evolving now in the fight game. Because uh, as Duke always says, uh, martial arts is evolving every day. You know, there's new techniques being developed even now. Yeah. And one of those new techniques, of course, the Showtime kick. Anthony was fantastic, you know, a kicker and around the world. Um, but you know, we, we see you in, in the cage and you're fantastic. But you know, today here in the mat in front of all these kids and you know, adults, you know, you really have an act for training as well. Is that, does that come from Duke or is, is that something you enjoy? Uh, something I enjoy and it comes from Duke. Um, it's, uh, training is uh, something I did since I was five years old. Um, and everybody talks about the Showtime kick. The Showtime kick is a setup of really good basics. I uh, set up a lot of good basics. Duke helped me train all the basic, all the basic fundamentals to set up something that dynamic, something that, that crazy. So yeah, I love to train and uh, I love to get back and train with different people. I always heard about uh, this gym for a long time. Duke and uh, Giuseppe comes up all the time as far and now I'm finally here for some good peg and I love it. Uh, I think too, he's being too humble. Anthony's actually, he grew up as an assistant instructor in martial arts. He's actually uh, one of the most gifted and talented instructors I've ever seen. Uh, when he's my age, he's going to be uh, the true grand master of martial arts. And I'm not saying that. Uh, and it's fun training with Anthony because uh, I get the training him is like playing the UFC video game. Uh, whatever comes to my mind, I press a button and Anthony does it. He's, so not only can he teach, he can perform. He's, uh, he's a rarity. And you got so many great guys and in great promotions. Uh, you know, I think you're in every UFC up to November uh, coming up. Do you ever sit, you know, sit back and think like, you know, you're all, like, and you use a lot of basketball analogies and football analogies. You ever sit back and think like, you're like a, a Don Shula of MMA? You know, I, I uh, you know, I said uh, when Anthony won uh, this, this world title fight and spectacular fashion, I didn't mean to be rude. I went to the after fight party for one, um, one, one beer, and I said good night. I hugged Anthony goodbye. And I went back to the hotel and I had to soak up the moment. I couldn't believe that, you know, in my wildest dreams I grew up, there were some incredible coaches, incredible athletes, people. I met. That moment, I was like, holy man, I arrived. I'm, a, I'm in the elite of the elite. I've trained a world champion in mixed martial arts and Muay Thai and K1. And, and uh, it's pretty cool, but you know what the hardest thing about success is? What? When I was back in that room, uh, it hit me that he's got to do it again. One of our guys got to keep winning. You know, you're only as good as your last movie in this fight game. That's the toughest thing. So I'm happy we're successful with our guys, but I'm still hard charging with them. Well, and you talk about the room you got there in Milwaukee. You got, you know, Eric Hoke, who's only lost to Chad Mendez. You know, he's he's a definite title contender. Um, you got uh, Ben Askren, who's who's got the title. Um, you know, talk about your gym and, and, and the guys you got there. Well, again, I mean, I think we've got some special guys. I mean, just guys that really like being around. I consider Anthony family, and Anthony's one of the catalysts. He's our team captain. Eric Cope, Ben Askren, Alan Belcher does his camps with us, Danny Boy Downs. Uh, we got Joe Hayson who fights in Strike Force, and we got Serge. we got a few other guys right on the cusp, but really blowing up. Ben Rothwell's a big part of our group. Just got a great group of guys. We really run our, our, our team like a family. Um, just a great group of guys. Eric and Anthony actually live together, so they, they, they own a place together. It's just, I've never seen such a special relationship 
Um, I, I talk about boxing. We're trying to be the Kronk boxing back in the day of MMA, like the 80s and 90s. You know, it's very important. We have a lot of great teamwork, and you know, each guy's helping each guy chase his dreams. Hey, Giuseppe, you're bringing uh, one of the members of this gym uh, to CFC Saturday, uh, September the 10th at CFC 7. Um, you know, why don't you talk about uh, the card and, and why you'd uh, fly up Sergio Pettis here? Uh, you know, we, uh, we we wanted to get Sergio, or Duke wanted to get Sergio uh, uh, turning professional. And he just turned 18, so legally now, right, uh, professionally, he's been fighting as an amateur. And I took the opportunity to, to bring him up and showcase him here in Winnipeg. Uh, the kid's really talented. He's, uh, you know, he's going to put on a really good show. Uh, for his debut, uh, the whole show in general, we have uh, 11 fights. Uh, seven of them are mixed martial arts. Four of them are uh, world world class level uh, kickboxing and uh, Muay Thai, full rules Muay Thai. The main event is Dave Zaniga. Uh, his opponent got switched. He's now fighting uh, French uh, world champion kickboxer as well, Gregory Chaplin, uh, for the North American uh, middleweight title. Uh, so the fans are going to see a title fight for the main event. We're going to see uh, some fantastic full rules Muay Thai fights, which are a rarity now, in uh, definitely in Canada, if not North America. And uh, you're going to see uh, all your local favorite uh, uh, MMA fighters, CFC fighters, uh, all your local favorites, Eric Perez, Lindsey Hawks, uh, Mark Durant, uh, Dave Zaning is the main event, uh, Chris Stranger versus Lindsey Hawks, uh, Sergio Sean and uh, Dwight Sutherland. Uh, Travis Gervais, Kyle Oliveira, uh, David Kleinbeck, you know, that's the that's the guys that are that are sitting on the show and they're all, they all sell a lot of tickets. We were expecting 3,000 people uh, Saturday night, so we're real excited about the show. Yeah, and deservedly so. It's, it's you know, the best night of combat the Winnipeg's seen in quite a while. Um, Anthony, your brother's, uh, you know, debuting as a pro on, on the show. Um, you know, how do you feel, uh, you know, with your brother, uh, watching your brother? Um, you know, how do you, what do you expect from uh, Sergio uh, tomorrow? I'm more nervous. Saturday. For, for, I'm more nervous for his fights than my fights. Um, I started in mixed martial arts, and my mom kind of put it on me. If he gets hurt or something bad happens, it's on me. So uh, I know he's well prepared. He trains with top level guys, and as you mentioned, our gym is uh, one of the best gyms you can train in. Well, the best gym, I think. I, mean, I, I can pretty much choose wherever I want to train, and I, I would never leave home because, unfortunately for me, Duke's there with the team. So uh, Duke's, uh, Sergio's going to show up, put on a good show Saturday. I think he's going to. Be very successful in his debut, and it's going to be a, a big a big moment in his career. It's his debut fight as a professor. It kind of sets his tone for the rest of his career. Does it benefit you having a brother who who fights? I mean, it gives me somebody to, to go through the moments with. Um, fighting is not the, the hardest part of fighting is showing up to the gym after you get beat up, and and your coaches tell you did this wrong and this wrong and this wrong, and, and you're kind of you feel beat up, and knowing someone else is going through that with you, and you got somebody you can go home and talk to, it's, it just makes a, it makes us that much closer. And Duke, you know, you've lived the uh, the younger brother, uh, you know, living the shadow of an older brother who was a champion. You know, what's that like? Uh, you know, what's Sergio going through right now? Well, of course, you had Rick Rufus as well. Yeah, right? that's a cool thing. I think like I think Anthony won is like the best older brother in fight in the fight business. No one's better than their younger brother. I mean, they they throw down and go hard, but he's 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 Sergio's biggest supporter and fan. But I, I lived through that, you know, and I know what it's like. In the negative, the pressure that people put on him. So my relationship with each one of the guys is different, you know. And he's just a kid. I'm not trying to put a lot of pressure on him. You know, it's uh, he's got a lot of pressure. I mean, 3,000 people for your debut is a little different than in Podunk, Wisconsin, in front of 300 people. But uh, the Pettis is like to do it big, so we brought it big to CFC. Yeah. So and Anthony on October 8th. Uh, um, you're fighting Jeremy Stevens, um, and you, your teammate has also fought uh, Jeremy, uh, um, Danny Downs. You know, uh, talk about this fight. What do you expect from Jeremy? And you know, how, how beneficial is it uh, that your teammates fought him for three rounds? This is a payback fight, man. He uh, he beat my opponent, uh, my teammate, uh, in the last fight that I was on. So for me, it's uh, I, I need to come back and I need to come back in a spectacular fashion to, to get back to where I was at. Um, I kind of take a few steps back, but I'm taking steps back to move 10 steps forward. I'm, I'm going I'm to come out and I'm going to put a, a performance on that I've never had before and I'm going to show everybody that I'm not just a one kick wonder and, I, and I, can, I can get the UFC title and it's going to happen. So uh, Jeremy Stevens is on four he's the first guy I'm going to have to fight off the loss so it's going to be a bad night for him. No, I mean, and as well, I mean, Jeremy's, uh, 
Now, Anthony's a very professional guy and not a trash talker. Jeremy, uh, you know, I hope you're listening because you keep saying showstopper. The only show that's being stopped is yours, son, you little heathen. You're going to school. You're going to Sunday school, buddy. You're going to get a religious experience because you're going to lay up looking at God when this guy's done with you. Whether you go to sleep from getting choked, you get ground and pounded, you're nowhere near. And uh, we know one of your training partners who clowned you in the gym, and he's trains with our gym. We know a lot about you, and I know what Danny Boy did on short notice. You know, what I love is uh, a lot of guys, you know, the, I call Anthony the Oscar De La Hoya of our sport. He's got a lot of popularity from MTV, a lot of great, you know, a lot of guys are haters. You know what, though? All they did was uh, pour fuel on the fire. This guy's very motivated right now. Expect uh, the type of performance you saw when he fought Danny Castillo coming off a, a loss, you know. The worst thing you can do is get Showtime motivated. I, he's a very fiery young man right now. And, and of course you had the title, uh, um, WC title, and you had the title shot in the UFC. Is, is there any regrets at this point, you know, taking that fight against Clay Rita and fighting? Uh, I know I know Rufus Sport, you want to fight all the time, and, and, and you, you're known for finishing fights. And, you know, is there any regrets for taking that fight and, and how it ended up? No, not at all. I mean, it, it, it sucks that I, I had to take a few steps back, but uh, there were some holes in my game that I need to fix. And once I get that belt, I don't want to let it go. So I'm taking this chance to fix every hole that I have in my game. And, once I get that belt, I'm not letting you go. Yeah. Well, and thanks a lot. Uh, you know, tickets are on sale still for uh, Saturday, September 10th at CFC 7. Ticketmaster.ca. Uh, $25 general tickets. We still have them. Uh, it's going to be a great show. So, all good and great. And also, we'd like to thank our, uh, our wonderful sponsors, Form Athletics, Canadians. Go to Form Athletics and get your Anthony Pettis uh, Form Athletics. Here in uh, the Zions and Toyo Tires, yeah, Combat Corner, we got a lot of great sponsors and who really help us, and uh, we wouldn't be here without them. So thank you so much. Yeah. Awesome, thank you very much, all three of you. Um, thanks, champs.